All right, YouTube family, friends, and friends and family. We are working on a 2012 Suzuki SX4 LEGE -E Suzuki four cylinder valve cover gasket. Um, it's my mother's car. Um, it's starting to leak a little bit, so that's why we're replacing it. So I am recording on the phone. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is. Take the oil cap off, you got a rag or something, place it in there so no dirt or debris or anything falling there. Then you're gonna pop this thing off here. I'm gonna do the step by step. So that's popped off. I popped that off the cover. It's kind of hard to do that, but uh, just put some muscle into it. You know, I got your spark plugs here, 10 millimeters to take those off. I'll do those one at a time. If you ain't did it in a while, I'll go ahead and replace that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take out these corners here all the way around, all the way around. So this is a 10 millimeter is what I'm using to uh, break all these loose. Okay. Notice I put the engine oil cap back on. It's very important that you don't get no trash or anything in there while working on this car. As you see, I'm already close to taking all these 10 millimeter bolts out. You gotta take the this one out and all the way around. You even have to take out the ones that's in the center. All these next to the spark plugs. Take those. So listen up guys, I just pulled off this from here. That's a 10. Put off this from here so you have to take this little bracket off right here to remove it okay then you have to take these cans off so i took my spark plugs out everything you gonna be everything you're taking off is gonna be a 10 millimeter okay so then you pop these out just keep them you know keep them kind of in order when you take them out i like to lay them cross to each other that way I know it's one, no, next, next, one, two, three, four, you know. So then, this little clip here was inside here. You just pull this, you just pull it straight up. Same over here. This little clip was inside here. You just pull it straight up. Pull this, pull this clip back, pull that clip back, pull it straight out. Okay. Try not to, like, if they hard to come out, try not to squeeze on this part to pry it off because you don't want to snap that part, okay? Then you have to get a whole new valve cover. So, that's how you take off that. Now, we just reverse everything after we put the gasket in. So, as I'm taking this off, I already see the gasket was broke. And you can see where it's, it, was, it was real flat and oil was seeping through to the other side. And that's what we're replacing. And before you start taking stuff off, just see see how it is on the car. That way you're not that way you're not uh putting everything out of out of order. And then this part right here, you clean this off real good with a microfiber towel. Okay, you clean off real good. Um, microfiber towel. People use different stuff. But I use microfiber towel. Um, just make sure you don't have no dents or anything. You don't want to scrub it or anything like that. With an SOS pad or something, just use like something that will just wipe it up and clean it up and remove it real good. Um, I won't get into detail. I'm just trying to help somebody out that's you know having this issue. But her uh, valve cover gasket was leaking, and that's why we're replacing it today. And this is who I'm using. I'm using a uh, mall by uh, AutoZone. It was uh, 18 bucks actually. It's better than going to a, a car dealership or a, a, a auto shop and they charge you two hundred to three hundred dollars for this minor work. So, oh, and then some people uh, was wondering, do they have a uh, the Zuki's have the uh, time and change belts? Well, they do. They have them right here. Some people thought they was rubber, rubber, but they change. They actually change. So, yeah. Yeah, you want to make sure all the glue and the old debris is out. I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all see how they got the little dip in here? 
the little dip, and then got the little dips. Well, on here, that's where you'll put the two dips in that. And that's gonna be your starter. So you can dip there and a the dip there. That's gonna be your starter to put the to the uh, the gasket in there. So basically, I'm gonna clean this off as good as I can, and then we're just gonna reverse everything we just did, okay? All right, you guys. So I put this back together. So this come with one piece. I didn't know it would come with one piece. I thought it was two different pieces. So basically, you put this rubber in per part in first, all the way through. And then you start with the, the two prongs and you just go back this way. And then you go back this way. You want to do it even all the way across because it's going to look like it don't fit. But then it's going to fit. So that's how you do that. And basically, you're going to reverse everything that we just did in the video. Okay. So you just make sure everything is evenly pushed down and everything. And you clean this part off, which I already cleaned it off. As you can see around the, the, the main areas and then I'm gonna put it back on and we'll go from there and this will be a good time to change your oil and everything too because that new oil like some oil got that sealant stuff in it you can seal your seal your gasket here so all right so as you put the gasket on you just make sure all these is lined up really gotta make sure these two prong little prong things is lined back, back up and dropped in there right okay and then you just start putting everything back up in, you know. So I'm start off with this. Push that back. Because uh, I tend to forget to put stuff back on. Put this back on. And then you get your clip. Uh, you, see these right here is what I was talking about a while ago. These just push in. Like that. This one right here, it just pushes in like that then I can go ahead and put my spark plug in here put my spark plug that's full three two and see how these lines is the hose is lining up make sure all your hose is lining up yeah, I know what y'all wanna know what's so what's so funny. I told y'all to, <laughs> to take this off. I mean to put this back on to make sure, you know, it don't get under the breeze or nothing in there. But I'm taking this whole thing off anyway, so it really don't matter. But so just put this back in so you don't lose it. <laughs> but anyway, uh everything we took off was 10 millimeters. I put everything back in. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten this up in a star pattern. So, I mean, you can look it up, but I like to start from here, and then come over here, then zigzag. I like to zigzag all the way through. That way I know everything is even. I like to zigzag, you know, when I tighten them stuff.